on an elevated coastal hazard area. And while they don't have any disaster prevention strategy in place, I'm sure it'll be fine. The hunting sector has experienced significant growth, leaving a lot of local openings for amusement ride up. The corn fed Colossus, Butcher Boy Brady. Shore's got a shark that needs Getting heated in this war of attrition between man and nature.
It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. Consistently the most difficult hole on the course, many golfers struggle with his par 7 humdinger. are responsible for just 3% of hunter deaths. Drugs, alcohol, and poor firearm handling account for the rest. You know, by Golden Shores, we got a shot that needs to get put away. No more shark attacks on my watch. Oh, let's go. Forgotten about the 
shark in her many crimes, so that's the end of it. Tigaroos are part of a complete balanced breakfast for anyone aspiring to one day suffer from fatty liver disease. Sapphire Bay's famous Pier 1 provides visitors with plenty of skee-ball, popcorn shrimp, and elegantly airbrushed t-shirts. Displays a singular significance of movement. Evaded justice for her heinous crimes, the shark is now the subject of a bounty. Despite their fearsome reputation, bull sharks can be almost docile in certain environments. Just not this one.
it best not to fight back? To just surrender yourself to complete annihilation. The shark's life expectancy is at half, which is a shame, as we're all hoping for a second season. Another victim in the shark's terrifying war of annihilation. Shark Hunter is killed for the same reason we all do, to feel The Toast of the Coast, Lieutenant Shannon Sims.
Throwing caution to the wind, the big fish escalates its battle against Fort Clovis. prohibited by royal decree in ancient Fiji. But this is decidedly not ancient Fiji. There's way more liquor stores and payday lenders. Clovis has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. In the kill or be killed world of the sea, performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. As is well known, volleyballs make way better friends than soccer balls, who will stab you in the back the first chance they get.
herself an exotic but murderous beauty. This instantized protein makes a great between-meal supplement, giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious mass. Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection.
Golden Shores development was originally met with local protest, but those objections were easily circumvented with campaign donations to Planning Commission Director Steve Traeger. This protein supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hidden artificial colors or flavors. Shark's behavior. Eh, I could eat.
three hours of training and eight dollars to become a licensed shark hunter. No very bother with this formality. The predator is vulnerable outside of her liquid element. Celebrate killing beautiful animals for tasteless nutritionless body parts than a $450 round of golf. Another shark hunt draws to a close. Mutations aren't random. They require large amounts of mutagens as a catalyst. From the moment she's born, the shark's cold, expressionless eyes are constantly on the watch for food. Well, I guess that's that. The battle is over, but the war goes on. Hockey sticks are still legal according to Baton Tordu course rules, but not for long if membership director Doug Thompson has anything to say about it. Light form allows her to navigate the area efficiently.
begins another reckless campaign of extermination. Sinking sharks, a lot more better than sinking butts. Inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Joe's.
golf ball diving is an exciting and growing field where you can risk alligators and venomous snakes for seven to 10 cents per ball. Traveling around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. One can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach. It's truly the ocean's garbage can. The members of Baton Tordu who commissioned this piece apparently found it whimsical. Whereas if you ask me, it's a little trite and unimaginative. for our crew to earn the shark hunters' trust, to convince them we were not insurance investigators questioning their disability claims. Out. We got a shark 
Sapphire Bay has had several piers. Three that were destroyed by hurricanes, and two that collapsed due to substandard construction and safety deficiencies. The powers of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. A breeze would be nice. As coastal communities face ecological collapse and ruin, it's still reassuring to know you can get in your 18 holes. With little fanfare, another bounty hunt comes to a close.